actually it's evening now, uh, but the intentions of today was to come out and uh, set masks. Uh, so, but due to yesterday's uh, long day and getting this uh, boat hauled into the water, uh, we, Hayden and I were both pooped out, so we um, just chose basically to block today. Uh, what I did do today, though, was I started to bring over some things, got a little bit of rope. Uh, it needs to be a regular rope. Regular. Regular nylon. The one with the plastic in it is so good. It's not heavy enough. So I brought some of the cleaning supplies. So that's the intent this week. Start cleaning out rock and roll. Spray nine. Okay. Don't know about spray nine. Uh, the entire cell spray nine. So we'll go on out and buy a whole whack of this stuff because uh, it's very good for the boat and it's uh, good for the water, good for the environment, and it works very, very well. <laughs> As well, because, because of all this rope, which at this point is now called lines, it is not called rope anymore, uh, these uh, lines that need to be tied in so many different uh, ways, uh, they all have their uses. I figured, okay, I have had this hanging in my bathroom uh, well, for years, all these knots, and never took the time to figure out how to make all these knots, what they're for, so uh, yeah, that is my mission now, is to figure out how to make all these nautical knots and what their uses are. So we got a grapple knot, the puju knot, timber knot, deck knot, piscalary knot, chassis knot, eight ring knot, double timer knot, flat knot, fist knot, simple knot, carrot bend knot. I am going to knock them down. I am going to accomplish this. That is my mission to learn how to make all these knots and just web them up. <laughs> Yesterday, we had a bit of trouble. There is uh, a pin missing on the motor, so when I was motoring the boat, that went over. As soon as I gave it a little bit of gas, it would start to up on me, and so what I had done uh, was slow down quite significantly, and um, and then once we were docked here, once we were moored, a, um, we realized that that arm here is also stuck down there and we could not lift the motor out of the water. Uh, so I bought a really, really big, long fly head screwdriver and see if maybe I can somehow just Push it forward and see if I can just lift that up. Okay, so it turns out that the pin for the motor was never lost. Uh, it was still back at the garage at home on the table, so I uh, totally forgot to put it back in there. And yeah, now here it is. Here's that Wiley pin. Ooh. <laughs> Yes. Now. Go somewhere in here. One of these holes. <laughs> I 
I guess I better lift up. Lift up the motor first, eh? So sadly, I released that motor back down and I got stuck again. Apparently, the vice commodore had come by and had given me a hand, realizing that that was still down and uh, had gone ahead and lifted that up for me. And um, yeah, and then I'll, I can't get back up again. <laughs> Check out the size of this one. Oh my gosh. What kind of spider is that? Does it even jump up? This. <laughs> Check it out. I got a wall light. I'm not sure if this will work. It's solar, all the same, solar powered, so that's pretty cool. And of course, an emergency kit. Uh, which every boat needs to have the emergency kit on it. Yeah, but um, I'm pretty excited about those two purchases. <sighs> the light to illuminate the way. Not sure where I want to put it. Do I want to put it here? Do I want to put it here? Maybe in the cabin, actually. Alright, I'll find a spot. Hopefully it works. else I can do tonight. Uh, my motor is, I released it, it's still down, so looks like I'm going to need a bit of muscle to get that baby up tomorrow, so see you tomorrow.